one degree and my average speed has been 20 kilometers I believe that sounds correct to me Wow I think neither me or this car has been through such a crazy ride before <laughs> oh. I think I've been driving two, two and a half hours. I thought it was gonna take one hour. I think I've been driving, yeah, at least two and a half hours, something like that. This road continues endlessly. But now, here is the end, actually. Here is the end of the road, which goes along the Finnish border or the border to Finland. Finland is just right over there and there's a river that goes all the way uh, along the border between Finland and Norway in this area. Uh, far far out in the wilderness. So great to be here. And uh, now I'm gonna make myself a, a, a late dinner and I will pack tomorrow. I won't do that now. Too exhausted by all this driving. My car bumped into the road like a lot of places. Like, boom, you can just hear all the sounds. So we've been had a few stops. Just to check that everything was okay under there, but it looks pretty good. I had to stop uh, 10 minutes ago. I came on this little hill and I had a view above uh, the forest, above the treetops, and there was this beautiful orange colored moon rising from the horizon coming up over the, the forest. Oh, it's so nice, the weather is, 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 the weather forecast is extremely good. I've been checking the weather forecast for this area for, for many weeks now and it's all been cloudy and a little bit of rain, but this week is gonna be sunny and 12, 13 degrees in the middle of the day. Uh, and mosquitoes are not uh, not that extreme right now they can, uh, because when it's so cold during night time they kind of finish them or they go into uh, hibernating or whatever they do uh, so that helps of course there's gonna be a little bit during daytime when the sun heats up the the forest but it's far 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 better now than what it's been earlier it's uh, uncomparable actually so that's also a really really good thing otherwise this area will be yeah, I don't know if it would be unbearable actually to be here in the middle of the worst mosquito season. On the other side of the valley, down here is the river, on the other side is Finland. So the border goes along the river all the way and I'm headed in that direction uh, where there are two rivers that meet. Uh, one, of the, one of the rivers are Anayoka, which is uh, uh, the, the, the national park are named after that river. So yeah, I'm just trying to walk where it's easiest to walk. Not here is a wetland, so I have to keep, uh, you know, I have to keep walk. I have to stay at the, the dry areas. Uh, it's very exciting because there's no marked trails, no nothing. Uh, I haven't seen any trails, I haven't seen any traces of people yet. No old fireplaces, 
no marks after some places where they've been cutting or lodging. It's uh, I've never never experienced this kind of uh, untouched uh, forest before. I really feel that I'm alone in here. That it's teeming with life around me, so I'm not alone, lonely, I'm just alone as a human being. Or maybe there's some other people in the area, but I doubt it. The chances of meeting anybody in here will be very, very remote during the whole weekend. And that feels great, to be honest. very interesting because we call this in Norwegian we call it like I don't have to translate it but like beard beard on the trees <laughs> uh, and it's a well-known thing that this is a good sign uh, of the air quality that there's a lot it's very little pollution in the air and then you will have this hanging on the trees, they don't grow in areas where it's, which is high in air pollution. So, and they, they, it's everywhere on the trees here. And it's not like a little bit, it's a lot, very much. Look, all the way up there. So, that says something about how far away we are from civilization as well so here I am at the Andreas Nilsen cabin located just one kilometer away from the border to the national park so we're almost there I haven't decided if I'm gonna spend the night here it's only 3.30 uh, but usually it's a smart choice to, to not hike too long the first day and I can feel my backpack is really really heavy now the heaviest backpack I've had so far during the whole trip up north here I have food with me for about 10 days So I want to go short of food in a while. Incredible place. A dream come true. Walking here just endlessly with pine tree forest all at once. And when I cross the border to the national park, I guess I will see uh, even all the trees, like a few hundred years old trees. Looking forward to that. Yeah, I just love the whole place. Best, best, best possible weather, wind. And this this forest here, which is my absolute favorite forest, and it's it's huge. This is gonna be uh, a hike of a lifetime, that's for sure. Uh, here you can see the cabin, really cozy, neat little cabin.
Anyoka. An Anayoka. They are meeting here. Meeting point. And then they continue down in the direct that direction where I came from. So beautiful just to sit here with this amazing view and these beautiful autumn colors on the trees and just listening to the water stream incredible tried my fishing pole and I had to use my net because the mosquitoes are back because of the warmth but it's not as extreme as it was earlier so it's, uh, it's okay the biggest the biggest issue actually but it's a whole different thing to to walk in the terrain where there is no path no trail sometimes I can see like a sign of a animal path but they're barely visible and so I always I have to I have to constantly try to find the best way to walk. The last part here before I arrived here was clearly not the best place to walk. Uh, I was near by the river here. I should have stayed up there instead. It's much easier to walk in the pine forest but the ground is dry I haven't walked that far today either so but uh, it takes a lot of energy so <laughs> I'm really curious to see how far I'm going to go today before I feel like having a camp I feel like setting up a camp but it's all only 3 o'clock so I have to keep on walking for a few more hours at least but I have to go up in the forest again I can't walk down by the river here it's uh, too difficult you can see the fishes jumping up and catching flies in the river it's really rare to experience this Total silence, only natural sounds. There's so much noise in today's society. Everywhere you, you go, there is some kind of noise. <laughs> it's a uh, Strange feeling knowing that I'm totally by myself. It's am it's amazing. For some people it may be scary, but for me it just feels so empowering and so I don't know if you if you're if you you're okay being alone being in your own company then I don't see I don't see what's difficult about it what's scary about it I feel so lucky how many people can do this in today's world this is the way this place has been for thousands of years To me, that's a really, really beautiful thing to to know that that this is all natural. It's so rare. Uh, yeah, it's it's just great that we still have these places left. <laughs>
a river coming down there and this is the main river the other one's gonna go out there so I'm thinking I'm gonna try to cross it down here somewhere and get out there on the hill and just follow it haha <laughs> this is so wonderful beautiful place wow <laughs> That's something different from what I'm seeing the last two days. Going from a flat landscape and suddenly you have this enormous canyon. I'm gonna have a camp up here on this hillside, 361 meters above the sea, I think. And uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see it here, but there's like over there is is the Gumpa Gorsi, which is a waterfall. And you can actually see how the water is evaporating from from the the river. It looks like it's a pretty powerful waterfall. Good morning there, fourth day out here in the wild and sun is still shining upon the landscape. Incredible. Just have to embrace it totally and appreciate it while it's here. Uh, yeah, I'm on my way to make some breakfast. Uh, I picked up, finally stumbled upon an area where there are blueberries. Uh, so that's a luxury. I'll be picking some blueberries. I'm gonna make porridge with apples or with an apple and um, blueberry. Norwegian apple. Norwegian apples. Oh, they're so good, they even smell sweet. Best apples in the world. So, I have to buy some more apples when I get back to civilization. Have a little breakfast fire going on. Morning fire. Even if the sun is shining, it's still a little bit cold. So, it's nice to sit around the fire. And the view is really, really beautiful. This mountain range that you can see over here is actually where I'm headed today. But first I have to make a stop by the waterfall. I didn't do that yesterday. I just stayed up here at the hill at the, my fort. <laughs> Uh, I'm walking around with my walking stick here, like an old man. Really feeling my my body is tired. It's still asleep, I think. So usually I, I put up a, a rest day, like a day where I just don't go anywhere on the. Second, third, or fourth day depends on what kind of hike I'm doing. Um, I won't do that now, but instead, I will just take uh, a long breakfast. Uh, that's actually what I've been doing all days, all these days in here. Actually, I've just been uh, starting off really late, started walking 12, 1 o'clock. 
Um, yeah, I like it out. I don't want to ch chase kilometers. That's not why I'm here. Um, it's not that kind of hike. Uh, it's too exhausting anyway. With uh, with the warmth and with this kind of terrain and with this huge backpack. backpack. So... I don't have a, like... I have like a, a route, but I'm not... I'm not locked to to I don't have to go that all that distance I just kind of walk as far as I want to walk and depending on how much food I have um, and I also have to get back to the car so that's a thing I have to take in uh, into account uh, so yeah but now I'm really looking forward to to that the waterfall. What a incredible view! <laughs> no roads, no signal towers, no electricity lines, just nature in its purest state, in its original state. Amazing! Wow! I get so emotional in these kind of moments. Sun is on its way down. Another spectacular evening. 
ahead of me. It's going to be really, really interesting to see how the moon, the view of the moon in this open landscape. Five minutes later and it's gone. It disappeared so quickly. Those last minutes, like, whew, flies away. <laughs> Look at the sky. It's just really fascinating play of colors. Wow. I'm gonna put up a fire, find myself some dry wood. Hopefully it's dry. So, I've been having a campfire every day now. The evening, evening is not the same without a fire going on. And it gets really cold, you can feel it. Once the sun goes down, it's like, you start to shivering. So, it starts to have something, some, something to warm yourself on. Mr. Moon has entered the stage. Welcome. Welcome, gentlemen, to this fine evening. Please, Mr. Moon, have a seat by the fire. Pretty, pretty okay. Life is pretty okay on days and evenings like this. Morning. Today is the first day with clouds, day number six. And that's uh, the more usual weather in this area, I guess, at least now during autumn. So I gotta head back to the forest today, go b down in the terrain. It's gonna be blueberries for breakfast today as well. I have so much blueberries. I picked with me uh, two liters. Yesterday evening was crazy. <laughs> the green light started to appear in the sky. In the beginning it was not so vibrant and not so uh, visible but after about 30 minutes it went all crazy it was this beautiful play of colors in the sky um, I, I've never witnessed northern light this strong uh, that early on the year in the year uh, usually I've seen this kind of powerful northern lights during winter time and it was kind of special because you had the moon shining behind from this this uh, area and it was shining really strong the sunset was still visible and at the same time you had this really powerful northern light dancing on the sky oh it was spectacular and it went on for maybe an hour 
I thought it was gonna last for a very short amount of time. You never know, usually it goes maybe 10-15 minutes and then it's over. But this time it went on for a long, long time. And I just sat by the fire, enjoyed the, the whole view. You don't need a television or a cinema when you have this kind of entertainment going on. I'm so glad I was up here in the open landscape when it occurred. Um, yeah, it was just the best timing. Last day with the with the, with good weather, clear sky, no clouds. It's been an adventure from day one. This hike. It's almost like. I fear that now it's gonna just go downwards. <laughs> gonna get rain and storm coming in. Gonna pay for all the good weather and yeah. Now it's been it's been great. Down in the birch forest again, trying to navigate through all the small trees. Oh, it's on. My fishing pole is sticking to the trees all the time. Another blueberry breakfast, yum yum. Enjoying the last warmth of the campfire. Been having it going almost non-stop since I arrived here. This spot yesterday, five o'clock. I plan to go all the way down to where I had my second camp. Uh, but my body just told me that I, I needed to rest. So the, I, did, uh, I did a short hike yesterday. Um, I will try to get to the to the campsite today down by the pine forest. Been having a great time here with oh there is a, a lake, access to fresh water, the tarp there. Um, I slept out, uh, outside uh, nearby the fire this this night. Um, so it's been a good good place to spend some time and just recovering. It's important that your my body gets some rest as well. It's it's no point pushing it when you feel like feel like you don't have any energy. So I think that was a good choice. Had some sun today. Now it's it's gone. But I didn't expect any sound at all, so that was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> mm -hmm. 